Hi, today we're going to take you through how to install a Sonoff switch that's been flashed with the Tasmota custom firmware. The first section of this video is using Wemo emulation and the second is using MQTT. First of all you'll need to access the Sonoff configuration portal in your browser. Simply visit the IP address of your switch and click configuration. Enable the Belkin Wemo emulation and then click save. This will now restart the Sonoff switch. You'll then need to restart your Home Assistant server. So back in Home Assistant, click on Configuration, General, and then restart the server. Once the Home Assistant has restarted, the switch should now be visible in the overview screen. You can now turn the switch on, and this will be reflected in the Sonoff configuration portal. You can also switch it off and this should show on the Sonoff page. If you're wanting to customize the name, click on the switch name and then click on the settings cog. Put in a name of your choice, for example lamp, and then click save. The name will now be reflected in the overview screen. And that's the end of this first half of the video. The second half will be to take you through how to install a Sonoff switch using Home Assistant's inbuilt MQTT broker. While this option takes a bit more effort, I found this to be more reliable than the emulation option. Make sure you've turned off the emulation that we just enabled, as this will cause a duplicate to be visible in Home Assistant. In order to set up the MQTT topics, you'll need to enable the built-in MQTT broker and configure a password. You'll also need to add in the details of the switch in the configuration.yaml file. On the screen you can see the example that I've put up here. Uh, further details of this are on my website which with the link in the description of this video. Once you're finished save the file and go back into Home Assistant. Under configuration general click restart. Next, you'll need to configure the same MQTT settings on your Sonoff switch. Navigate to the configuration portal and click on Configuration, Configure MQTT. These details should match exactly how you've entered them into the configuration.yaml file. Once you've checked that all the details are correct, you'll need to then click Save and the Sonoff will restart. You'll also need to restart your Home Assistant through Configuration, General, Restart. Once the device is restarted, the switch should now be visible in the overview screen. Turning it on should write the state to the MQTT topic and the Sonoff will change its state. Similarly, turning it off will turn off the device. If you're wanting to customize the entity name, the previous option through clicking on it will not be available. You'll need to go through Configuration, Customization, and select the newly installed switch entity name. Edit the name and click Save. For example, you could call it LAMP. Once you've saved it, the name should now be reflected in the Home Assistant overview screen. That's the end of this video. Please visit my other videos on Home Assistant or follow the link to my site for more detailed information. Thanks for watching.